Well, hello, I'm in Conway, but not Conway, South Carolina. Conway, Texas. Right here, you see the sign? It's Route 66 Budget Fuel. Well, it's closed down. So I don't guess I'll be getting fuel here. So anyway, I just thought I'd pull in here. They have Volkswagens and things half buried in the ground, kind of like the Cadillac farm. So let me turn this camera around and I'll video some. I have no idea how long this place has been shut down, but uh, it's plain to see people paint, have been painting this building. You can tell this is the, had a three bay garage and a mechanic shop. I mean, you know, the office and they sold gasoline out here and it must have been the parts around back there and uh, a workbench, you know. Looks like they had the nails all up here for hanging certain tools and probably fan belts in the old days. But people's coming painting, look at there. It's a thermostat. That The green wires run up to that heater, which has gas lines running to it. So they was open probably year round, probably at one time making good money. Oh, there must be a lift in the floor somewhere. I've seen these before. They have the valve. You turn it that way to let the air out. You turn it that way to let it put the air in. So, uh, yep. Right there. Ah, oh, there's a lift there. There's one right there. I don't know if that one's got one. I don't see no pipes running. See, I can see where this had it. Anyway, it was probably a good thriving place. People's broke glass, all the glass out, and it got swept up, but you can see it was all painted before they broke it. Had a heater in the office. I remember gas stations that were shaped similar to this. All right, let me go over to the other building over there. Uh, by the way, this building looks with the long porch on the front and all. I got a feeling this was a place where while they were working on your car, or even if you didn't need a car working on, you could come over for cell phones for sure, because there's the old phone booth. Oh, somebody's wrote right there, 2020. So that weren't too long ago they painted that. Oh my God, they're painting on the ceiling and everywhere, man, uh, under the porch. But anyway, what I was getting at, Got a feeling people could come over here, sit in and dine or something. Or it could have been a, well, with those kind of shelves, I got a, oh yeah, it was like a small grocery store. I mean, it had all this, but the counters and all around, I got a feeling they had a few places to sit and eat too. The sheetrock's busting out. But it had AC duct work that blowed out here right up here in the ceiling had the eight foot fluorescent bulbs. Uh, looks like a lot of cotton stuff's been tore. Oh, no, I don't know what it is, but. Probably a lot of mice. I see a lot of bird poop on these. Where they were coming up out through there. Oh. There's an old bird nest. I don't know what kind of birds build nests like that. Oh. And they had showers or something. Let's see. No, that's just toilets and a sink. This is a bathroom. All right, and this was the men's because it had the urinal and a toilet. The other one just had two toilets. God, people come through and really tear up a place, don't they? Huh. And they had a back door. All right, I'll be right back. All right, and after I went out that back door from right there at that building... I come up back here and there's an old Chevy truck, square body shape, 
through the late 70s. I think they made them a little while in the early 80s. And people come back here and they write on it to, with paint. You know, they write things. But they sure leave their cans laying around. Now, they give it to them to paint and have fun. I see a 2020 down here. So some of this stuff's not old. And, oh, but some people want to, uh, and some people probably mark out some things. See, and that, that says 10320 with a marker. So some people's 10320, huh, that's not long. Good. All right, now I'm headed to another building. Don't ask me what kind of car or what year model this is. I don't know if it's a Ford or what, but people's been painting it also. It's been painted a lot if you'll look. Look how thick the, the cracks are there. So this has been painted on over and over and over, which all, all the cars probably have. See the that's a cut and defender in the metal. But then you got this building right here, just beside it. As you leave the gas station and you leave the place where it was like a store to buy groceries and things, you come across and whatever this building was, which had a eight foot light. This is where a lot of people must dump their paint cans when they get finished. <laughs> but they write and they cover over other people's. But just remember one thing. Once you've wrote it here, it's always here. Even if they cover over it, it's there. It's just under someone else's paint. And some people want to be funny. Who knows? And they ride on the concrete too. They paint down there. They paint on the walls. They paint on the ceiling. They have, but it's nice. I think it's good. It gives somebody some freedom to do something. In 400 feet, turn right onto Texas 207 South. Don't pay that no attention. For some reason, I never can cut it off. And these are the Volkswagens. And that's the reason I came. Just to come by the Volkswagen. Gas tanks used to be in the front. Motors are in the back. I like a little Volkswagen. <laughs> just think it, it'll always be there Absolutely. even if someone covers it over it's still under there somewhere <laughs> all right 